hi guys i want to give you a quick spiritual warfare warning um as you guys know that you know those individuals who are um witches and warlocks and stuff um they can masquerade themselves in dreams and stuff like that they can also masquerade themselves as uh, as objects they can masquerade themselves as animals insects okay so and that's how they monitor your dream so sometimes you'll have a dream and they'll come in and they'll just be in the corner somewhere spying okay recently the dreams that are happening are with spiders so i want you guys to know that they are disguising themselves as spiders particularly black widow spiders and you'll see them on the corners of the walls in your dreams you may even see them in your homes and they're like small tiny black spiders um but that's a definitely a sign of monitoring okay so if you guys have any dreams uh, and there's a spider in your dream just try to get rid of it um i know when i saw the spider in my dream here's my confirmation i'm gonna be straight up honest with you when i saw the, the spider in my dream this was like the second day of my fast i had this dream and um you know i saw the spider in the dream and it was like on the top of the ceiling in the corner and i'm i don't like bugs okay like i don't like bugs but i don't like killing bugs either i have a hard time killing bugs but for some reason in the dream i was told like i had to kill the bug and um, because I don't like to hit bugs, I don't want to hear the squishiness or anything like that. I literally took the Clorox spray, <laughs> the Clorox spray, and I started spraying the spider. And as I sprayed it, it kept running and running, but it wasn't running like a regular spider. It was running like, like, how do I explain it? It was like, okay, it was moving like a spider, but at the same time, it was being very strategic as like a human, right? And when it ran downstairs, it was wet with the Clorox and it was kind of on the floor like kind of just laying there and um I turned around because I was going to go get a paper towel to go pick it up and flush in the toilet and as I went to go get the paper towel and flush it was gone and I woke up from the dream and then I heard God say it's her and I'm like what do you mean it's her and he was basically saying that that's the the woman that's been monitoring you okay so I want you guys to know that um they're disguising themselves as insects and animals and stuff in the dreams, mostly in the dream state. I know physically, yes, they can do it physically, but mostly in the dream state they're doing that because that's how they use masquerade spirits or that's how they masquerade themselves in dreams, okay? There's a movie called, um, I think it's called Inception. And in that movie, it's about the dream state and the spiritual realm. If you watch that movie, you'll see in that movie how a man literally disguises himself as a woman. He steals someone's money and then he goes into the elevator and, and get goes back to his original self as the man, right? So that movie reveals alone that that stuff actually happens. But I've already knew that happened, but that movie was like a confirmation for me. So um, another thing is today, what reminded me of this dream that I had and this warning was me talking to someone today and she actually says she was seeing the same black spiders in her home and um, she knew she was having issues with this particular person and she knew that it was something relating to that person as well. So when she told me that I screamed because I told her I had a dream about the black spider and I asked her if she sprayed it. She said, no, I didn't spray it. She said she actually like killed it. So I'm like, okay, then my dream wasn't related to her, but it wouldn't be anyways because God already gave me the confirmation when I woke up, but I, I just asked her just in case. Um, you know, so be very, very careful of the dream state, okay? Because trust me, you can, they won't be in the dream state as something that is big and obvious that you'll recognize them, okay? So that's why they're right now, they're, they're, their strategy is to be objects in the dream state. Because if there's an object in a dream state and you see the object, you're not going to think twice about it. You see what I'm saying? So they have to try to blend in as much as possible. Because if you see this person's in a dream state with you as a person, you're going to be very careful about what you say. You're going to be very smart not to accept anything from this person. You may even just wake up and get out of it and get into prayer, right? So they want to keep you in that same dream so they can do whatever they can do to you, right? So in order to keep you into that, into that dream so they can do whatever they want to do to you, they have to disguise themselves as something that is not noticeable okay and then they have to also disguise themselves as a small insect that you can barely see but because i am i have a very strong eye even like now i have a very strong eye. i i don't like bugs so her mistake was disguising herself as a spider and going in the corner of the wall thinking i wasn't going to notice that because i'm very very my eyes are very open when it comes to bugs okay like i don't like bugs at all so i'm always looking in my house for bugs okay so I just want to make you guys aware and cautious of this because this is happening. So most of you guys may be having spider dreams. And if you're having spider dreams or if you, you're in your dream 
and you are alert, aware when you're in your dream, like you're using your discernment in your dream, always look out if there's any bugs around you in the dream state, okay? And always make sure to pay attention to objects as well in the dream state, okay? I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.